mute my computer. Welcome everyone to Bing TV. My name is MJ De Palma and I am your host this week. So this episode we're going to talk about the rise of the bots and for those of you watching on LinkedIn we're going to have Jeff Cologne speaking so you better stay tuned um, and so we'll talk about all of the Microsoft bot framework and how you can get involved in that uh, revolution and we're also going to have my favorite segment of the show it's an interview with the Bing Ads Ninja and that sec section is all about how to get free Bing Ads coaching so the rise of the bots. We're going to have Stein drop a link to an ebook that you can take a look at. And it's all about um, the, how to get involved with the Microsoft bot framework and how to get involved with your business and take advantage of that. So it's called the rise of the bots um, and how it leverages uh, Bing intelligent search. So without further ado, I want to bring on camera and talk a little bit about what he talk to SMX East, Jeff Cologne. Come on up. I'm here. Awesome. How you doing, MJ? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. All right. Good to have you on this side of the camera instead of that side of the yes. camera most of the time. <laughs> um, so you spoke at SMX East about uh, Microsoft's bot framework, and it's just incredible how this technology is just exploding. And in fact, just in two years, 85% of all customers are going to be interfacing with AI rather than a human being. That's just incredible. That's right. I mean, what we are seeing a lot of now is on sites, you land on a site and what looks like a person asking, how can I help you, is really a programmed bot. And mm -hmm. we want more people to build these, especially smaller businesses, mm -hmm. so they can scale uh, but also to be where their customers are if they don't happen to have a human who can uh, help their needs at that given time. Right. So like manning the phones, having a virtual employee. Yes. And scaling yes. their ability to help employ uh, customers. So that, that's fantastic. I get that. Yeah. Um, so bots are really the new apps then? They are the new apps. We are moving more into uh, a world of actions. What actions can the web help you with? Mm -hmm. And so... We really are trying to uh, build uh, conversation as a platform so mm -hmm. that we can help people do things. I mean, the example I give is that uh, a bot helps me sign up for health classes or sign up for continuing education classes or find information on a website that might be like a thousand web pages mm -hmm. long. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get there, like a good example is WebMD. Um, it's really, it might be difficult to just use the search bar. So right. a bot can actually help uh, you get or find the information, right. um, which, is, which is very valuable, I think, to users. This really ties into customer experience, which is very important. So messaging apps, right? So we talked about that. They're reshaping the future of customer service. We're showing that 4.1 billion people use basically a conversation app at the moment. That's right. That's enormous. And, and so I think it was a couple weeks ago on Bing TV, I shared um, Bing Business Bot, and that was uh, a link that would help small businesses, restaurants specifically right now, be able to create a bot where they can make reservations, check um, FAQs. Uh, so t talk to us a little bit about the Microsoft Bot Framework and yeah. how open source that is. So besides that opportunity, we're allowing others to build onto this framework. That's right, so the bot framework allows anyone to build on uh, Azure. So you can basically deploy a bot. And if we think about uh, the sim a simple bot, we think of call and response. So if I ask, how are you today, MJ? Call and response would be, the bot would respond, how are you, MJ? And we can reprogram that, so if I ask, how are you, MJ? The bot would say, I'm fine, how are you? How can I help you? But what's important is we can deploy this not just only on Microsoft services, mm -hmm. but services that are third parties, right. Facebook Messenger, Slack, Kick. Uh, it's sort of becoming endless. And I think mm -hmm. this is important because uh, we're not looking at it like, hey, just build for Microsoft platforms, right. but build for the, any platform that your customers are on. This, I think, is really important for 
uh, those in search marketing and marketing in general to understand. Yeah, absolutely. Let's take a look at another stat that more than 500 million people already use a digital assistant and that it's predicted that within a year, it's supposed to double um, a billion people. And so what is that really implying? So digital assistants, how do you interact with them? Voice search, right? Yeah. And so 2017, we're in it. We're saying along with Forbes, uh, that 2017 is the year of voice search. Yes. There's other interesting um, fact, and it's Baidu, that their di data scientists predict that 50% of all searches uh, within the next two years are going to be voice and image searches. Um, and so if you think about how we're trying to interact with, um, you know, searching, you think Alexa, you think Cortana. Yeah. It is voice search. Um, image search I had featured on Bing TV. Uh, Bing's image search is incredible. You can search within an image. Um, so this is just so much data. Yes. So much data. So 90% of data in the world today was created <laughs> in the past two years. That's astonishing, the amount. I think this is where uh, AI services are going to help quite a bit. And, you know, Satya mm -hmm. Nadella has pointed out here, I think at Microsoft, the three areas he wants to really concentrate on quantum computing, augmented reality, artificial intelligence. And mm -hmm. bots really fall into this area. So if, I think they can help find information for us. That's right. really important where we, um, you know, we're just, we're just awash in data now. It's almost uh, to the point where mm -hmm. we really need to make this into actionable insights. And I think this is where AI can help quite a bit. Exactly, and so talking about, I wanted to bring this amazing example up about how AI translates into actionable uh, you know, insights or data into action. And there is a cool article that uh, Stein will drop a link to for you to take a look at. It's the New York Times article. I believe it came out in June. And Microsoft was able to, now let me paint the picture. So those that got pancreatic cancer who happened to be using Bing the search engine, absolutely zero um, personable, identifiable information, totally anonymous, but they could tell from searches that folks had pancreatic cancer. And taking that pool of data, the massive amount of searches, they went back in time to see what searches were way early in this sample set's history. Yep. And they could paint a picture of perhaps, think about what kind of symptoms they may have had early on that are common across this sample set. And it's, to me, it's, it's, it's AI for good. Yep. It's, it's searching, think about Cortana for your health, and a digital assistant that's looking out for you. So if I'm searching on Bing, and maybe in the future they may deploy a, a Cortana functionality that's like, hey, little flag here, you maybe want to go get checked out because this fits in this uh, this realm of possibility. Yeah, and if we think about how many specialists and different people we have to see mm -hmm. for health, but all the searching that we do do, we all use search now for symptoms that we might have. Yep. This could be really interesting in terms of being able to tie this together much quicker than having to visit uh, you know, 15 different specialists possibly. And it could mean you know, the difference between uh, you know, uh, an extra 20 years of yeah. living because early diagnosis, it, it's, it's really remarkable. Yeah, pretty interesting. So looking for more and more uh, things like that. Um, any closing thoughts on, on AI and uh, bots and intelligent search? I mean, I think one of the things that everyone should check out is qnamaker.ai. Uh, this is a this was just announced at Build 2017, which mm -hmm. was in March or April here in Seattle. And uh, it allows anyone to build a frequently asked questions bot and deploy it on their site, uh, which I think everyone should do because mm -hmm. sites now are becoming much more rich in terms of data, as you noted. And people want to be able to uh, ask quick questions that uh, FAQ bot can actually answer. And this is one of the first mm -hmm. sort of Microsoft cognitive services that we have. So definitely, you know, check it out. That's fantastic. So, so any any business can take advantage of this. Any business can take advantage of it's it. It's free. Can, it's free, and That's you can awesome. publish it as a HTML uh, in HTML framework, so it'll fit on the back end of any website. Fantastic. So you should have that link down in the comments section. So check it out, um, Jeff Cologne. Thanks for. 
attending awesome. Sing TV. Good seeing right. you, MJ. Good to see awesome. You too. Thanks. Thank you. So next up, my favorite section of Bing TV is interview with a Bing Ads Ninja. If you haven't ever seen this segment of the show, a Bing Ads Ninja does some incredible work for our customers. So the Bing Ads Ninja of the week I want to invite up is a Vanessa Payne. Vanessa, come on over. Hi, OJ. Hi, Hi, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, Vanessa Payne is with Bing Services. She's a planner and delivery manager. Tell us a little bit about what your role is. Sure. So I work with a team of amazing planners, and we put together these programs for customers, no matter what life cycle you're in with us, whether you're brand new or you've been with us for years, uh, to really help you make your advertising easier and help make it more successful. Awesome. So there's two programs that Vanessa's team really manages. Mm -hmm. One is if you're completely new to Bing or if you've been with Bing for a while. So we're going to talk about both and what you get. So the first program is getting started with free coaching, right? That's right. That's right. Which free and uh, <laughs> coaching, and these guys are just amazing. So there's going to be a link uh, that we'll share in a little while um, that you can access any phone number or uh, link in any country that Bing is at. Right now it's showing um, the U.S. phone number. But tell us where we're at. We're in 36? We are all over. We have teams all over the globe to help you, whether you're in the EMEA region in Europe, Latin America, uh, Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, North America as well. So we're here to help. So when you hit that page, you can change to the area that you are in and get the help in the language that you're used to. So that's fantastic. So tell us what you'll help our customers, our new customers, or even those that haven't started to be customers uh, yet with us with. Absolutely. So it's it's a little intimidating sometimes knowing where to start in a brand new tool and what is the search advertising thing. So we will walk you through from the get-go how to create your Bing Ads account if you haven't mm -hmm. signed up with us yet, how to create ads. Um, if you've advertised on Google before, we'll help you import that instead of starting from scratch. We can start with what you've got there and then refine it to really work uh, for the Bing network. Fantastic. Yep. And then also there's some specific things. Let's talk about keywords and bids and what else? Keywords and bids, that's huge. We're going to um, show you a lot of great reports to help you monitor your performance and really kind of know what changes to make along the way. And then we've got some great tools to allow you to do that on your own as well as ones that we can help you with. Tell us a little bit about what tools that might be that you can get them familiar with and that are awesome. Absolutely. We've got one called Bing Ads Editor. So if you have really large campaigns, you can manage all of your changes in bulk instead of having to go through one by one. That's mm -hmm. a great one. Uh, we've got Bing Ads Intelligence, which is a great keyword investigation tool. It's an Excel plugin, so it'll help you manage your keyword list right there. Um, lots of really, really great stuff. Awesome. That ad creation, that is one of the most important things between you and interacting with your customer. So what are some of the aspects? I know that we have them here on the screen to our right um, that you're going to help them with. Absolutely. Ads are so important. That's what your customers see when they search on Bing. So you want it to grab their attention. So you want to have compelling ad copy that is exciting and they get they know exactly, yes, I want that one, and they're going to click on your ad. So we're really going to help you write some great ad copy and a description that's going to speak to those customers. And you want to tell them, what do you want them to do when they click mm -hmm. on your ad? Do you want them to sign up for something? Do you want them to make a purchase? Mm -hmm. So really having that clear call to action so they know what it is you want them to do. And then taking them to a landing page that's really relevant to that ad. So it's shortening that distance point to where you want them to complete that transaction, whether it's a sign up mm -hmm. or a purchase. Now the greatest thing that I learned from Vanessa and what their team does is that they really take the time to learn your business and customize those you know, aspects of creating ad copies so that it really resonates with your customers and what you have to offer. So don't expect it to be you know, a, a canned service. It's really, they really care about your business and they'll get to know your business. All right, so, and then also keywords. Talk a little bit about how you'll help with keywords. Sure. Keywords is oftentimes where to start. So you really want to put yourself in the customer's mindset. Mm -hmm. What would you be searching for on Bing to find what it is that you offer? So starting with enough keywords that it will cover a good amount of ground, maybe 20, 25 per ad group, but not so many that it's too much and it's not really the right set. So getting started with the, the mm -hmm. optimal number of keywords, using the keyword planner tool to really figure out what are going to be the most successful keywords to use that are going to 
draw in your target audience. And then also implementing negative keywords. So you're kind of weeding out the stuff that's not quite as relevant, uh, but keeping really the core stuff that you, you want to focus on. That's fantastic. And the keyword planner is really, you, you could use your URL, isn't that correct? Mm -hmm. So it, it's really also looking at you know, the content on your website. So it, you, it gives you a really good starting point and then to gather uh, with your coach, you figure it out what to start with. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some bids. Yeah, bids. So bids are really going to help make you competitive in the marketplace. So we want to make mm -hmm. sure you're staying within your budget because that's really important, but really finding that sweet spot of how to get the most competitive bid so your ad serves in the best position either on the top or the sidebar of that first page. So we'll really help make sure we're getting you to the right spot. Yep. And it's a recipe. Everything matters. Yes. In, in baking that cake, yes. <laughs> it does matter. Bids, keywords. <laughs> um, now making a better cake. Reporting, right? Oh, yes. So tell us a little bit about what reports you might look at and how Absolutely. that can help you. Yes, we've got so many reports within Bing Ads that are such great tools to help you monitor performance. So one of our favorites is the search term report, and that's really going to tell you what keywords people are searching for that make your ads display. So that's a really big one. You want your ads to display, mm -hmm. so you want to know what people are actually searching for. Uh, the share of voice report really talks about how many impressions uh, your ads are getting, so how many times your ad is being viewed by customers who search on Bing. Um, Auction Insights really kind of helps you understand how your ads compete with other people who may have similar offerings on Bing. And um, the geographic report will help show you how your ads perform in different locations so you can expand your targeting if you realize you're getting a lot of traffic from maybe outside the, the uh, region that you initially selected or refine it down to a more targeted group if that's where you're getting the most traffic. Right, right. And, and so in terms of all of these information, all these reports, just I want to reiterate that you don't have to do any of this alone, oh, yeah. that this team is here to help you. So we're going to share those links to make an appointment, to call. You can actually talk to someone. And <laughs> We're real people. Yeah, I know we just <laughs> talked about bots, but this is not a bot. And um, they will definitely help you with this. Um, so next up, if you have an account with Google, we have Google Import. We do. Yes, it makes it so easy. It saves a lot of time. You can take your campaign from Google and import it into Bing Ads, and we'll help show you how to do that. And certain settings may not come over exactly the same. We've got there are two different two different search engines, so we're going to help you refine those settings to make sure that they're ready to go on the Bing network. Now, one thing I want to point out: um, our GM, David Pan has worked with a lot of large companies, and one of the insights that I learned from him that he has uh, actually given to our customers is that even if some of those campaigns did not work on Google, that doesn't mean they're not gonna work on Bing. Mm -hmm. So if you have some older campaigns that may, you're like, I give up, you try them, test them on Bing. We have a different audience. Mm -hmm. So besides the ones working on Google, you may wanna take another uh, pass at them on Bing. Um, and, and pull those over, and some of our customers were pleasantly surprised. So yes, thanks, David, for that for that tip. <laughs> um, and here's a quote: "Everything I needed to know was explained to me at a point where I could understand it. I was shown what it is important when running an ad campaign and how to make it successful." That was just a, a soundbite from one of Vanessa's team's customers that they worked with. Yep. And um, tell us a little bit about David, who's on your team, and yes. how he helped. Yes. David helped get more out of our internet advertising dollars, which nowadays is critical. He was most helpful and gave us some great recommendations. Yeah. You know, I just really uh, can't emphasize enough, it is free and these guys are awesome at what they do. So make an appointment and give them a call. You know, um, like Brenda was warm and friendly, of course, we're warm and friendly people. Um, but she gave actionable advice and we listen. We want to learn about your, your business. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so for new users of Bing Ads, get free coaching. Stein's going to drop that link, aka.ms slash free Bing coaching. And this is really aimed at those that are new to Bing. And now for those that aren't new to Bing, we'll help you get more out of your campaigns with some optimization help. So if you're not new, need optimiza optimization help, will give you expert advertising techniques at no cost to you. Um, so let's talk about some of those 
expert advice categories. We'll teach you how to improve your click-through rate, of course. Of course. Conversion rate, uh, we want you, we really want to take your performance to the next level. So if you're saying, I'm not getting enough clicks or I'm not giving, getting enough impressions, our team's really going to help kind of diagnose what's at the root of that and find what strategies and tweaks to make that are going to get you to where you want to be with your advertising. So yes, click through rate, like you said, MJ, uh, conversion rate and how to really use those reports. Really, the longer you've been with us, the better those reports mm -hmm. are because you've got so much meaty data to really kind of show you those competitive insights. So those are really, really great tools to help uh, drive your return on investment. I love talking to Vanessa. I came up with this phrase. They're diagnostic technicians is what they are. So they're, they're going to give you advice. Maybe you need a fresh pair of eyes on that mm -hmm. ad copy. You can't think of anything else. Like you've thought of every combination of title and description. But with these guys, a fresh pair of eyes uh, go, goes a long way. It really does. Yes, having that fresh set of eyes, revising that ad copy to keep it fresh, make it different than something maybe you've tried in the past. Mm -hmm. um, looking at that competitive landscape, landscape to assess if you need to add new keywords or maybe scrap some uh, that really weren't weren't doing as much for you and then refining those bids again to make sure you are really competitive with your ad placement um, yep. and then some of those tools that we talked yep. about conversion tracking even so you really can follow a customer's journey on your website and know uh, where they're clicking and uh, where they're making in those conversions yep and absolutely uh, these guys will also help you take advantage of new features that come out that you may yes. not be aware of it, or how to actually deploy it in an easy and efficient way. And so, um, you know, dynamic search ads just came out. That yes. might be something that they can help you uh, get started with. But it's a great, great way to uh, get the most out of your money uh, on Bing ads and get the most from this awesome audience. If you're not on Bing, you should try it for sure. <laughs> um, so I just want to give you the link to get free expert Bing help, aka.ms slash free expert Bing help. Um, I did want to mention, let's just pause for a moment. So these guys, I explain to them that it's not just, you know, necessarily one phone call and you're on sure. your own. They're here monitoring, they're like a partner. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. So we are a partner. We're here to help. And we've got lots of triggers in our system and our data that actually tell us when something might be a great fit for you. So you might get a phone call from us saying, hey, we think SiteLink extensions would really help make your ads that much more compelling, take up more real estate. Mm -hmm. Let's help you implement some of those and make some other suggestions based on where we can see your campaign is performing. So you might get a phone call from us, so answer the phone and hear what our what our experts have to say. Um, and it's gonna be really great. And yes, we will continue to use those triggers to reach out and then we are always available whether you call us, you can schedule a time that works with your calendar to, uh, to meet with us and we will help you. So we noticed, you know, this is a service for any advertiser or even in a small agency that doesn't have an account team. Absolutely. So yeah. those that have an account team, you have those experts. Those that don't, this is the team that you can reach out to. Take advantage of it. Uh, it's, it's an amazing service and we hope to hear from you. Um, one last thing I want to re reiterate that we are local to you <laughs> and local meaning that we have a various teams in Europe, Asia, and the Americas to help you with your campaign, no matter what country you're in. Um, so make sure that you check out that link and find that phone number and call us, right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Any closing thoughts about wanting to hear from these amazing people? Yes, we want to hear from you, we want to help you, we want to help make things easier. Your time is valuable, you're running your small businesses, mm -hmm. so we can help do things for you to save some time, but we also want to teach you how to do it as well, so mm -hmm. you are armed with those tools to be able to monitor on an ongoing basis when you want to make changes and maybe you don't have time to call us. So we are here to help. Awesome. Yeah. This is the Ninja of the Week, just like the Ninja Cat riding the fire-breathing <laughs> unicorn on my shirt, Vanessa Payne. Thank you so much for joining thank us. You. So next week, what do we have? We have User Voice Forum. So we're going to have a deep dive into how you can get involved in shaping what you need from us. It's the User Voice Forum. Um, and then we're going to go in depth about a lot of new features that have been released. And last but not least, you spoke, we listened. It's that customer focus, customer obsessed, obsessed engineering that we have, a fantastic engineering team. It's all one theme next week. It's all about you. It's all about your feedback to us and how we build products based on your feedback. 
So thanks for joining us this week and look forward to seeing you next. Take care. Live from South Lake Union in Seattle, it's Bing TV, hosted by MJ De Palma.